Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout, and when last we left off, we found the most useful item that you can get in any point-and-click adventure game. With it, our escape from the asylum is all but assured, and no obstacle will be able to stop us. I'm of course referring to the one, the only, the indispensable Paper Cup! You don't look convinced, but look, we're already finding uses for it. We've been putting them behind these potted plants. The guards will see them, be confounded, and try to figure out just who put them there. Hopefully they won't notice that we wrote our name next to this one. While they're so puzzled, we'll be able to sneak past them and you still don't seem convinced. Well fine! You doubt the usefulness of the paper cup, but when it proves to be indispensable in our victory, I shall be the one to have the last laugh. It's not very likely, I know, but it may happen. It may. Stranger things have happened in point-and-click adventure games, after all. We've quite extensively explored this room, and we've briefly looked down the corridor on this floor, but we haven't yet spoken to the guard at length. He may give away something that we can use in our escape of the asylum. So it's time to have a conversation, and hope that he doesn't figure out that we're not actually the newbie. It'll be very awkward if he does. Hello, how are you? I hate to interrupt, but... Make it snappy. We have quite a lot of dialogue choices here, so let's start with the most sensible one. What is he watching? It's quite obvious, but clarification can't hurt. What's that you're watching? I'm watching the loonies. Usually. I prefer TV, but there's something wrong with the aerial again. Shame on those unreliable aerials. It's not that bad. The morons can be quite amusing. The only problem is that you start getting a little loco yourself. If you keep staring at these monitors for too long, you'll see them start to form letters. Okay, the game was blatantly hinting at it before. Now it's just telling us. We need to spell something with those monitors. But I still don't know what. This also answers why we had to move the aerial. If he was watching this TV, he wouldn't be watching the monitors, and he wouldn't be able to be hypnotized by them. Let's now ask about that key. Is that the master key? It is indeed. And it opens all the doors in here? All but one, mm-hmm. All but one? Which one doesn't it open? Which door doesn't the key unlock? There's this room on the second floor. The doctor always keeps it locked. He keeps the key to it in his office. But once a day, at the exact same hour, he opens the room and locks himself inside. We don't know what Dr. Marcel keeps in there, or what he does. But Babbitt swears he once heard sounds coming from the room. Uh, a whimpering, or a sobbing, right when the doctor was in there. Creepy, huh? Ugh, I've got goosebumps. Why do I get the feeling that we're going to have to get into that room? We're probably gonna have to get in there. Let's ask more about that key. Now, about that master key. What else do you want to know? Well, obviously, I want it. Can you give it to me? Can I have it? I've misplaced mine. Good one. As if Dr. Marcel would trust you with a master key. This master key is the single most important thing in this whole building. Not even Holgor has one. And I'm certainly not giving it to a noob like you. Did you hear that, Edna? He called you a noob! You can't let him get away with this. Now, about that master key... What else do you want to know? That one didn't work, but we can maybe try something else. This one's just as likely not to work, considering that Holgor isn't a loud one, but we'll try it. Can I have it? Holgor sent me to fetch it. Holgor can come in person if he wants it. Holgor is... well, he's tied up. Tied up, eh? How's he tied up? Well, he's in a cabin... Edna! He, uh, he's trying to deal with his claustrophobia. In that case, he won't be needing the master key. That was a semi-impressive pun, but I'd have said that he's just hanging around. Get it? Cabinet? Upside? Never mind. Let's try a different way. 
Now, about that master key. What else do you want to know? Well, I still want it. Let's try this one. Can I have it? Dr. Marcel says I should have it. I don't believe a word of that. The doctor would never trust anybody else with the key. Not you, anyway. This person is proving to be tricky to deal with, but we're not going to give up yet. Now, about that master key. What else do you want to know? We need to get out of here with it. Let's just be upfront about it. This is definitely not going to work, but it's worth a try. Can I have it now? I won't be able to get out of here otherwise. Have you gone bonkers? First of all, we are not allowed to leave the asylum during working hours. Secondly, the entrance is never locked. Only the back door is. So anybody can just walk out of the main entrance? Sure, unless you're one of the loonies. So, the back door is locked, but the main entrance isn't. And I imagine the main entrance has other ways to make sure people don't leave. We can maybe get out through the back door, though. Now, about that master key. What else do you want to know? There's only one thing we can really try, and that is to try and get the key to fill up the water cooler. Considering it's empty, this one might work. Can I have it? I need to go to the storage room to refill the water cooler. Well, you're late to the party. This was the last of the water. You've managed to drink all the water supplies? Seems like I did. Good lord. What was I thinking? What were you thinking? Your bladder's probably going to explode. Just how much water have you drunk? Did you drink all that water? Don't remind me. I'm bursting. But I'm not supposed to leave my post. As if anything ever happens with the loonies. But I'm pretty strict in this respect. There's a reason why they call me bladder. I can imagine there's a reason they call you bladder. But now we figured out what we need to do. We need to get you away from here. But how? Why don't you just go? I'll keep watch in the meantime. Hey, I have responsibilities here. It's not just about sitting around, killing time. I wouldn't dare think of it that way. I certainly would. It's unhealthy to hold it in for so long. I'll manage. There's a reason why they call me bladder. The volume of your bladder must be enormous. Well, I fell into a cauldron as a child. You mean the magic cauldron? No, just a regular cauldron. Oh, but if it was a magic cauldron, that would have been so much cooler. And a reference. Wow, all of the water? Don't remind me, please. Oh, I'm going to be reminding you. Because I think there are going to be lots of ways to do so, and if that's the case, that's going to be awesome. Speaking of water... Oh, there are loads of things here. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun going through all of them. Let's start with this one. Have you seen Waterworld with Kevin Costner? Stop talking about water already. Can you imagine that? A whole planet covered by... No! Water. And more water. And even more water. As far as the eye can see. <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> Water. Okay, that didn't work, but it did put a massive grin on my face. And we've only just begun. Oh, we've only just begun, Bladder. You versus me. Let's go. I was on vacation once at Niagara Falls. Stop talking about water already. I would stand right next to the waterfall for hours on end. Stop it! And the gush and spray. Ow! <sighs> and the water tumbling and pouring. <clears throat> Torrential. <clears throat> Streams. Swoosh! Mm. 
mercy. Swoosh. <laughs> It's the pauses that get me. It's the pauses between what she says. Just the waiting, knowing that he's suffering. It's brilliant. Did you know that they found traces of water on Mars? Stop talking about water already. Channels that were left by runlets that washed around the rocks for eons. Stop it! Supposedly there were genuine creeks. Rapid streams that squeeze mega-gallon after mega-gallon through narrow canyons. I'm almost there. Just one more, and I'll kill you. Will you now? I highly doubt it, because we're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep trying. One of these has gotta work. I heard there's supposed to be rain. Stop talking about water already. Yes, really. It's going to be a veritable downpour. Stop it! It will start off as a light drizzle, but then it will start raining cats and dogs. I'll kill you! I swear, I'll kill you! A real rainstorm will be upon us. Splish! Splash! Why are you doing this to me? Splish splash? We're doing this to you because we want that key and we want you out of here. Just give us the key! Just give us the key, bladder. But you're not going to, so we must continue. When I get home, the first thing I'll do is have a bath. Stop talking about water already. Oh my, isn't it marvelous when your whole body is submerged in warm water? I'm not listening, I can't hear a word you're saying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Too bad it always takes so long for the water to fill up the tub. La 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 la! My bathtub can hold hundreds of gallons. Dooby 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 doo. Once the tub even flowed over and flooded the whole house. You see, I've been through the desert. It took hours to mop up the mess. On a horse with no name. I can't even count how often I had to wring out the mop. It felt good to be. It was all like splish, splash. Out of the rain. Splish, splish, splish. Shut your bloody trap! This is wonderful. I I love this. This is brilliant. This is why I play games like this. For these interactions. For these entirely optional things that are just brilliant. Also, I love that reference there, Bladder. Very well done. There's only one more thing that we can do here, and I hope this works. I hope it does. My cousin is a firefighter. Stop talking about water already. You can't imagine how much pressure there is in those hoses. I can! I can! The incredible column of water that's built up in there and the power that is unleashed. When finally the valve is opened. Do you want me to wet myself? Is that what you want? I can still hear him shouting today. Turn on the hose! Turn on the hose! Will you please leave me alone? Leave me alone! <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, your bladder really is a very, very, very capable thing. We're gonna have to find another way. I give up. I'm no match for your bladder. Anything else? Indeed, we are not. There's one more thing we can go through, and that is to say that we're not the newbie. After all that, we're gonna go, by the way, I was just messing with you and I don't even work here. He probably will try and kill us. I'm not the newbie. Oh no? Who are you then? Well, it's obvious. To be honest, I'm a loony on the run. Loony on the run. Right. But listen, newbie, if you've only come here to pull my leg, you might as well just take a hike. That ends the conversation, but I'm sure we can go through more of them. I hate to interrupt, but... Make it snappy. There are more options there, so let's go through them. I'm not the newbie. Oh, no? Who are you then? Well, it's obvious. Ever heard of a guy named... 
Thor, God of Thunder? All right, Thor. I bet she can vanish at lightning speed then. I noticed that one of the options involved water. I don't think that was there when we first came into the room, and that's only because we went through the dialogue concerning water. Oh, we get another opportunity. I hate to interrupt, but... Make it snappy. I'm gonna save it for last, though. I'm not the newbie. Oh, no? Who are you then? This one's one that, uh, will probably annoy him. That was a joke. Of course I'm the newbie. You're really starting to annoy me. Tell me what you want already, and then uh, take a hike. I'm only just starting to annoy you? Really? I'm not the newbie. Oh, no? Who are you then? Who else am I? Who else could I possibly be? I'm a sound imitator who specializes in water sounds. What? Oh my, this is brilliant. Let's go. Look, 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 look. Stop that! Stop that! I apologize if anyone was actually needing to go before this video. Because I probably made that far worse. Look, 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 look. Stop that! There are more of these. Let's go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Stop that! Two more! Two more attempts! Drip, 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 drip. Stop that! One more. Whoosh! Stop that! Okay, your bladder really is formidable. The performance is over. The performance is over. Ah, finally. I don't think we can get that key off you or get you away through dialogue alone. But we certainly tried. I'll leave you alone. Yeah, please do. I'm just gonna go get more water. Do you want some? If you turned around right now, I imagine that would have been the face of, I'm going to kill you. So let's just leave. And ironically, head to a place that probably has lots of water. Just round here. Let's go in to here. Now, what can we look at here? There's not a huge amount that we can look at. We have a towel dispenser, a mirror, soap, and a sink. The soap looks like something that we can use and maybe even take some with us. So let's start with the paper towel dispenser. I recognize this from origami therapy. Oh? Do you two know each other? Will you let go of the towel already? Come and get it. Oh, I will. We want a towel. That's not fair. It rolls right back into the wall. Darn. We're going to have to think more carefully if we want that towel. That's not fair. Harvey, help us out here. We want that towel. What do you make of this, Harvey? What? The towels are cashmere? I ain't wiping my butt with them if they're not cashmere. I think you wipe your hands with them, Harvey, but never mind. Toadale? Hmm, I can't open the casing. Too bad. Now I'll never know who keeps on pulling the towels. My money is on a mum. Oh, Harvey, you can't cram a mum in there. Can too. A mini mum. I've never seen a mini mum before, but clearly you have. Let's try the paper cup with it. I'll have a cup of towel, please. Hey, towel! Fill her up! Great. Now the towel dispenser is out of order. That was amazing. I expected nothing, and yet I was surprised. Can we doodle on it? Darn it. Oh! We did hear that line of dialogue, though, so it was worth it. In this panel, we see Captain Useless drying the hair of Handy Boy with his fire breath. Wait, he has fire breath? Are we sure he's entirely useless? Okay, this will probably work if we desperately want that towel. Hmm, I can see the gift wrap, but I don't see a ribbon anywhere. I guess that means Hulgore won't be getting a present for Doofus Day. 
What, I missed Doofus Day? Oh, No present for me for Doofus Day. Let's look at the sink. I bet we can fill up the cup with that. A typical sink, just like the ones in the catalog. You've seen a catalog of sinks? Some time ago, I was sitting in a cell and talking to the walls. But after painstaking acts of concentration and wit, I have finally reached the men's room and am now talking to the sink. <sighs> you think you have problems? Jeez, I am the sink. You don't like talking to us? We have water. Can we take it? My preliminary analysis says if I take it with me, it will cease to function properly. Fair enough. But we could get water everywhere, and that would mean mayhem. Do you want to take a bath, Harvey? Ew, no! Well, it was polite to ask, at least. Toenail? Clipping one's toenails at the sink? How square can you get? I mean, you've been biting them everywhere else. The sink is no worse a place. Okay, let's see if we can actually get some water. Oh, no. It was already so soaked that the water tore it apart. Darn! We're going to have to get another one now. Can we doodle on it? It doesn't write when it's wet. Ah. What if we use the sink, turn it off, and then try and write? It doesn't write when it's wet. Fair enough. It doesn't matter which one, then. Can we use the comic book with it? In this panel, we see Captain Useless cleaning his ultrasonic earplugs. Ooh, the adventures never end. Okay, I think we've pretty much gone through every single item that we can. We need to go back and get that cup. We want a cup. We can't finish examining that room without one, and I've just remembered that we didn't use all our items on... ladder. Let's do that while we're here. We do need a cup for that, though. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. Oh, we'll see about that. I'm still adamant that there's something we can do with all this. But let's use our items while we're here. What do you make of this guy, Harvey? He may be a lazy sloth, but I'm awestruck by the superhuman capacity of his bladder! Me too, Harvey. Me too. Toenail? There are rare occasions when a toenail doesn't help a bit. Is this one of those times? I think it is. Would you like a cup? Shall I get you some more water? Definitely, and decidedly not. I've already had too much. Way too much there, bladder. Way too much. Wouldn't you rather read something? Don't get on my nerves. TV, Chunky. It was worth a try. Pen? I don't want his autograph. Fair enough. Mallet? I'd rather not. He's still ignoring me. That's probably for the best. Now that we have the paper cup, it's time to go back and look at those remaining things in the men's room. The mirror and the soap. We'll look at the soap last, just in case the soap absolutely destroys the cup. Let's look at that mirror. You're only as crazy as you feel. And how do you feel? We're not going to get an answer to that. But we may get an answer from the mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the coolest of them all? Oh my, Edna, it is clear. You're the one, no other near. But what would show you really rock is if you opened up the lock. The lock? What are you referring to? I wonder how I look. That's strange. I somehow thought I was blonde. Well, you're wrong. You're not. I wonder if they make these with different themes. They may do. Harvey, what do you think of it? Look, Harvey! A reflection! Why, if it isn't? My evil twin from a parallel universe! I don't think he spotted us yet. Let's set a trap for him. How would we go about doing that? Paper cup, help us out. Ah, it's giving us the description of it backwards. Clever. 
What about the comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless struggling against the unkempt hair of his evil opposite. Not unkempt hair. A disaster. I like this little touch here, but can we smash the mirror? Still am. No, we can't. Which leaves just the soap. Soap. Founder of civilization. Really? Clearly history has taught me wrong all this time. Will you cleanse me from all my sins? The cleansing you can achieve through me will only be of a superficial nature. To attain complete absolution, you have to drink blood, then slay the dragon, and finally exonerate the father. Oh, Soap. It all sounds so easy coming from you. Indeed. Wait, it's easy to kill a dragon? Aha! We can use it! I'm not sure if it'll be useful, but we can use it. We can't take it. Harvey, would you like some soap? Shall I wash you, Harvey? Oh, sure. And after that, you can tie me in a pink ribbon and invite me to your tea party. <laughs> Marvelous! You're having a tea party? Are you going to invite Bladder? Are you going to offer him water? That would be a lifelong task. Probably. What about the mallet? No, I like my clothes the way they are. Dirty. Fair enough. What about the pen? No, I like my clothes the way they are. Interesting that that has the same dialogue. In this panel, we see Captain Useless cleaning his ultrasonic earplugs. Let's use the cup, because I'm pretty sure we're probably going to lose it by doing so. What do you hope to achieve by this? Clean dirt? Why not? Let's go for the impossible. And while we're thinking about the impossible... Darn it. Maybe one day that will work. And so, when we come back, folks, there's another door that we can try, and there's also downstairs that we can go to. Further towards freedom. We still want that key, though. I get the feeling we're going to be stopped in our progress by not having that key. But how are we going to get it? I'm sure we'll figure out a way, somehow. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.